Hi, good morning, my love team, to all of you, wherever you are. I am very happy to share with you the Mayan updates now from the 23 to the 29 April this year. And in this time, uh, I want to show you the month, the 15 month, who is representation of one of the sacred birds in the Yucatan. The name of this bird is called by the Mayans Moan, M-O-A-N, Moan. It's like a kind of a sacred name that they give uh, to the Holy Spirit of God. The Mayans uh, imagine that all the birds are connected with that spirit because that represents the, the air, you know. When the birds fly, they use the air to move from one side to the other, from one direction to the other. But it's the spirit who holds them, you know, like in levitation in the air. So the Mayans believe that that hand of God, you know, is protected by, by the air, by the wind, the element, but it's the God, God's hand who made them move from one side to the other. It's a beautiful imagination, it's a beautiful symbol who is connected in this time with the 15 month. Uh, in this time, to talk about the importance of the, of precisely the Holy Spirit. I want to show you, this is a, an example that uh, it was taken from one of the stelas in Yaxilan. Yaxilan is one of the most important and beautiful places connected in the Maya land with the river Usumacinta close of the border of Mexico and Guatemala. We have been there, you know, many, many times with groups and the amazing energies, you know, connected in that place, the, the art, the royal art there with the first uh, prophet women, so they travel into spaces, uh, is very beautiful. So really, we invite you to join us in one of your moments. So this is the symbol, and you see the descending here of the bird, who is the Moan, the bird, the Quetzal, you know, is descending, and, and there is a hand here holding the symbol of the cross. The cross is representation of our own planet, human being, and pyramids. So we are the crosses, we are the temples. We have the Holy Spirit of God, Moan, in ourselves in this time, during these dates, precisely to again to reconnect. The, the Mayans said, you know, in their prayers, you know, uh, in this way, in Kaba Kilis Dios, Yumbil Dios, Mejimbil Dios, Dios del Espíritu Santo. They refer to the three forces, Father, Mother, and the Holy Spirit of God. So the Holy Spirit of God, Moan, is the one who is ruling in this time, you know, the, these days. It's time to return, to understand and to reconnect that we are here, guided by the Holy Spirit of God. The Holy Spirit of God is that, uh, that inspiration that we have in our days when we sit down and we can write it and we can imagine and we can paint it and we can do our work. But in our real work, I mean working in an office or working in a home or working in any place, the Holy Spirit of God even is the one who is always guiding you, protecting you, giving you the, the wisdom, how to walk, what to do. So you feel in some moments in your life that you are stuck with something and you have a disease, you have an illness, you have a problem, you need to call the Holy Spirit of God to your life. And if, even in the morning when you open your eyes, said, you know, I release my life to you, take control of my life, guide me, protect me, give me the blessings, give me the wisdom. How can I walk today? Because sometimes you want to do something, but the ideas doesn't come, the, the inspiration doesn't come. Why? Because the Holy Spirit is not there. So we need to call, we need to know the door, we need to ask the help. This is the time we need to take our, our, our hearts and to release uh, that afraid or that shy or, or, or that uh, uh, pride, you know, who is not good in any level. Selfish, because we cannot solve the life by ourselves. Precisely, the Father and the Mother send the Holy Spirit, you know, in this time, because the Holy Spirit is the one who's ruling, you know, here in this planet. So the Mayans believe that there is a beautiful Quetzal who is the sending of your seven chakra, 
you know, every day, and is the one who is giving you the inspiration, giving you, you know, the wisdom, the guidance, you know, the direction. They guide you in your sakbe, in your way, what to do and what not to do. Sometimes we need, sometimes we have no, or sometimes we need to say yes. But it's a decision which is coming from the inside. So I invite you to connect in this meditation with the Holy Spirit of God and to remind that now this is the time to relink ourselves and to decide to release in humbleness, you know, your everyday life in the hands, you know, in the guidance of that beautiful bird which is represented by the Mayans descending over our seven chakras. So we're going to do this meditation and the right mantra to call the Holy Spirit of God who is descending over you today and the rest of your life. Please take a seat, take a moment for you to sit. Breathe in, breathe out. In this moment we call, we invoke, the Holy Spirit of God, come, 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 come to me. In this moment, Holy Spirit of God, come, 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 come to me. Holy Spirit of God, come, come, come to me. We see that from the sun, there is a beautiful quetzal, a beautiful bird, descending over our seven chakra. To connect with that the Spirit of God, we're going to do a sacred mantra. The mantra is Haori, Haori, Haori. I want you to imagine, using your will, your imagination, that in this moment the Holy Spirit of God is, is descending over you, giving you the inspiration, the guidance, the wisdom, the healing, the balance, the kindness that you need for your life. Whatever problem you have, release, trust in the Holy Spirit of God. Concerns about people, criticism, skepticism, critics to the others. 
And instead of that, I can bless, I can heal, I can send love to the others. I can pray for them. Heal my heart, heal my heart, heal my heart. From any illnesses, from any aspect that is needed, balance, especially hate and resentment in my heart. Heal my heart, heal my heart, and bring me the love, the happiness, the harmony, the peace, the kindness that I need in my life. Holy Spirit of God, Holy Spirit of God, come, 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 come to my lungs, to my lungs, and heal my emotions that I have repressed and hold for many years. Take of them and transform me in beautiful trees, in beautiful oxygen, in beautiful elements of life in myself that I can breathe in and breathe out with easy, in an easy way, with facility. I can see, I can feel the breath in, the breath out, and how free am I? I am to breathe in and to breathe out. Holy Spirit of God, come, 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 and heal my solar plexus. From any bad emotion, from any negative emotion, from any afraid or fear about life, or the other's aspects, from any critic of the society, people, that I can work, that I can walk in my life with the strength, balance and harmony, equilibrium in my solar plexus. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Holy Spirit of God, for to heal me in my solar plexus. Please heal me, heal me, heal me, my sexual center, for any misuse, for the misunderstanding of love, life, tranquility, abundance, peace. I see myself healing, connecting with the first chakra, with our Mother Earth, the Grandmother Shmukane, Heart of the Earth, center of the gravity of this planet, Mother, Mother, Mother. Please receive the Holy Spirit in me and help me, help me, help me, help me. transform and heal our body, soul, and spirit, our plexus, our brain, eyes, the throat, the mouth, the lungs, the heart, the stomach, the intestines, all the inner organs, the legs, and grounded in Grandmother Ishmukane until the center of the planet. Now imagining yourself that the Holy Spirit is behind you and the beautiful feathers of the Quetzal are green, turquoise, they embrace all you be, all you are. Remembering the moment of the creation in the Popol Vuh, when Tepeu commands the Quetzal Feather Mother, and 
embrace unconditionally with love. And that is the Holy Spirit, Moal, in these days, who are going to influence you in your life. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Holy Spirit, to heal me, or to guide me in my life, or to protect me in my life. Thank you, Father and Mother. Cherish Mukai. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Imagine yourself protecting with these feathers for the rest of your life, always connected, every day, surrender with humbleness to the Holy Spirit of God. We send blessings and love, peace, harmony, kindness to our planet, the blessings of the Holy Spirit bless all humankind, all animals, all the trees and plants, mountains, lakes, rivers, seas, wells, creeks, all minerals in caves, all stones, and all the kingdoms blessed by the Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So be it, so it is, it is done. So be it, so it is, it is done. So be it, so it is, it is done. In la cage, a la cage. Take a minute for you to say thank you to your spiritual teachers and the Holy Spirit of God. Breath in and breath out. Breath in and breath out. Breath in and breath out. When you feel ready, you can open your eyes and stretch your body. Just to remind again that uh, we are so lucky to have in our life, uh, as the Mayan said, always the presence of the Holy Spirit. To remind that the feathers represent the birds, to remind that the air, the wind are your wings, and the area is the heart and the lungs. To remember us that uh, any time you surrender, to your Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit of God is with you. We must believe it, we must have the faith, especially now, and you, whatever you need, as I explained you, you can call, you can invoke the Holy Spirit of God, and you will receive, you know, the love, abundance, healing, kindness, harmony you need. Thank you very much. We'll see you soon. In La Cage.